an invitation to join the Jesuits? Apparently. Let me read this email for you. I have my email address blacked out here. But it says, hello, Mr. Denlinger. It took us quite some time to find you. This is from the revised Jesuit order, whatever that is. I am writing to extend a heartfelt invitation to you to consider joining us as a revised Jesuit. In our council, we have come to the conclusion you would be a powerful ally. Our community embodies a tradition of intellectual curiosity, spiritual depth, and unwavering commitment to, ju to justice. As a revised Jesuit, you will have the opportunity to engage with the rich heritage of the Society of Jesus while embracing new perspectives and approaches suited to the contemporary world. Our mission remains steadfast to serve others with compassion, advocate for those marginalized, and pursue a more just and equitable society. We welcome individuals like you who are eager to explore the intersection of faith, reason, and social action in today's complex landscape. Um, joining us as a revised Jesuit means being part of a diverse and inclusive community that values dialogue, critical thinking, and meaningful engagement with the world. <laughs> Together we strive to create positive change and leave a lasting impact on the lives of those we encounter. If you feel called to embark on this journey of self-discovery, service, and spiritual growth, we invite you to explore what it means to be a revised Jesuit. Your unique gifts and talents will enrich our community, and together we can continue to build a brighter future for all. You clearly have a powerful influence, which we respect. So in lieu of persecution, oh, okay, uh, we offer friendship. Little threat there. <laughs> okay. And even monthly financial aid, starting at $500 monthly with bonuses. Wow. I'm supposed to give up my faith for $500 a month. <laughs> sure. uh, whoever wrote this is an idiot, but we'll get back to that. Should you begin to promote our values? We believe your family would benefit greatly. $500 a month? Wow. Yeah, sure. That would benefit me greatly. Uh -huh. We only ask three things of you. Only. Just small things here. You remove your videos that critique the church. No. You promote a Catholic interpretation of the Holy Scriptures? No, <laughs> not doing it. You declare the whole the you declare the decree that the Most Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church are allies with you? <laughs> no. We would also prefer you exchange the authorized version for a more up-to-date version. Sure. Yeah, King James Video Ministries. Let me let me just trade for a new version. Right. Please check out a book one of our associates wrote, King James Only Controversy by James White. Uh huh. They wouldn't be this obvious about it. I mean, this is, somebody's got, you'll see my reply here. We are currently a secretive organization consisting of 231 members. Aha, uh -huh. give me their names, please. Privately selected and organized by the American Vatican representatives. Aha, uh -huh. our goal is to become a public international organization in the future where governments all over the world are directly influenced by us and our values. With members across the globe by June 2026, we believe we can form our calls to be universal law right being a member of the revised jesuit order you'll be able to meet many influential fellow christians and scholars <laughs> okay accept our invitation and we can begin your training program uh, right should we not receive a reply we will assume you must have missed the special invitation henceforth we will develop preparation for a in-person meeting as we know you are currently a resident in northern maine bridgewater Uh, okay, we, with hope and anticipation, the revised Jesuit order. Okay, wow. Um, here's what I wrote back. Uh, you can see the date there. I have no reason to believe that your email is genuine. You have provided no name or proof that your supposed organization even exists. Quite frankly, I believe you are just trying to scam me. More than likely, you are a teen teenager who took some time off of playing video games to try and annoy me. Run along, child. And Christ Jesus, Brian Dunninger. I don't know, brother. Um, Five thousand dollars a month, boy, that's uh, quite a, ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give up my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and in His perfect Word, the King James Bible, for five hundred dollars a month. Uh, no, hey, um, if you really want to get someone like me to change, you probably should up that number, maybe to I don't know, five hundred thousand a month. Okay. Start out there, five hundred thousand dollars a month. Um, my answer is still no. Okay, 
And if you want to test me, little funny bunny, whoever you are, or the real Jesuits, if you really wanted to test me, um, send me a check, certified mail, you know, everything else, for $5 million, $500 million, $500,000, whatever. Make it, you know, a good amount. And um, if I cash it, then you can come out and show my name cashing your check. But I'm not going to because I will never sell out to the Jesuits or to any other papist organization. Roman Catholicism is Satan's church, and I will never submit to you. And if you send me a check, some huge big check, or offer me money, I will burn your money publicly in a video. I will take the check, hold it up, and I will light fire to it and let it burn, is what I'll do. If you don't believe me, try me out. Um, Five billion dollars, whatever money you want to send me, and I'll burn it. Okay? If you think I'm going to sell up for five hundred dollars a month, <laughs> you really are stupid. And uh, oh, we're going to have to make a visit to you in Bridgewater. Um, well, that tells me that you're no threat at all because number one, if somebody's really a true threat to me, they would never tell me that they're coming. Kind of a little bit of a rule there, you know, and things. Uh, number two, I haven't lived in Bridgewater in many years. Okay, I sold my place in Bridgewater years ago. I'm not in Bridgewater, Bridgewater anymore. All right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I just had to share this email with everybody. But it's just funny. I look at this stuff as comedy. I don't even take this stuff seriously. Um, I'm not afraid of anybody. I've been confronted in stores, by the way, by papists. And the one was definitely a Jesuit priest. And I just turned and walked away from the guy. Mickey many the whole black uniform on with the little white collar thing. Uh, just came walking right open, the doors opened at this one place I was at, and he walked right beside me, right here beside me, and I just kind of about face and just marched that way and just went out and, and walked away. I thought, I'm not going to even talk to you, you stupid devil. But I've had, you know, uh, had some guy, I think he was a, a Jesuit, and uh, he came up in plain clothes and, hey, you know, I just wondering, and he starts talking to me and asking me questions and things, and I started to, you know, kind of get the vibe of, uh, okay, you know, I know where this is going, and and so we had a little uh, argument there in the store, and he went away. So I'm not afraid of you, okay? I will never be afraid of you. And the fact that you have to threaten me um, tells me that I am right and that you're wrong. So, but uh, that will be it for this video. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I have a bunch of studies done. I, I uh, wrote the notes for them. And so still here in the... Uh, kitchen area on the kitchen table but we finally got the um, got my extra long ethernet cable thing here all wound up so I'm going to be running the new cable over from the router over into the new area where I'm going to be my office a lot of plans coming up a lot of big things happening so um, please do pray for us uh, again brethren uh, I'm, I'm willing to die for the Lord Jesus Christ. I've been through so much in my life, so many horrible things and, and whatever else, and uh, so many struggles and whatever. You know, if the, if the Lord says, okay, it's time to come home, it's going to be a glorious, wonderful thing. I'm not worried about it at all. So um, don't worry about me. I mean, pray for me, yeah, sure, whatever else, but uh, I'm not worried about death. Not for one bit, or not for one second. And if you think I'm going to betray the, all the martyrs that have died down through the centuries at the hands of the filthy, disgusting Roman Catholic Church, I'll never betray them. Ever. I don't care. But um, just thought I'd bring this out. We have another issue that we're dealing with, too, so I'll be bringing that, that out in another video. But uh, we do need your prayers. And um, so just not so much because, oh, I'm getting scared or whatever of the threats. No, I'm not scared of the threats. It just annoys me because it slows me down. And uh, little hindrances and things, the little devil servants come along and they try to slow down the ministry, which is irritating. So uh, that's the main thing that irritates me. So just thought I'd share this with you. So there you go. Uh, am I going to become a revised Jesuit? <laughs> no. No. Uh, not happening. All right. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.